life in the cat group is, is quite political. It's all about influence, a bit like the Mafia, I suppose. Macaque groups have a strict hierarchy. Chester's is run by a dominant male called Mamasa. Mamasa, because he is the dominant male, he'll sort of strut around a lot more. He'll also display a lot, just to sort of throw his weight around. Sulawesi macaques are critically endangered, with only 5,000 remaining in their native Indonesia. But the zoo's group will soon be expanding, as one of their lower status females, eight-year-old Rumpel, is pregnant. Rumpel sort of lower ranking in the group, so you don't tend to get too much drama from Rumpel, but she will get in there if she needs to. This will be Chester's first macaque baby in more than two years. And the newborn is bound to attract a lot of interest. With Rumpel, the only sort of mum in the group with a, a tiny baby, she may get a lot of attention from the other macaques. We have had it in the past where if there's just been one youngster, then everyone wants to hold the baby and touch the baby and run around with the baby. So they just sometimes get a little bit of a battering. With a new baby due any day, Rumpel will have her hands full, keeping the rest of the troop at bay. In the Sulawesi macaque house, Hello. it's time for breakfast. And this morning, there's good news. Rumpel has given birth to a baby girl called Ray. We've got a new addition to the group, which is really nice. So, yeah, she's looking really good as well, um, clinging on strong. Little and will get a lot of attention um, from the rest of the group. When the macaques are first born, you'll see that they have these very, very pink faces and little pink hands and pink feet, which is very, very distinctive from the adults who sort of have completely black faces. And that's just sort of a physical sign, obviously, that they're a vulnerable little member in the group, which sort of obviously tells everyone that to be careful and watch what you're doing, because obviously they are very small. Rumpel instinctively protects her baby. But the rest of the group are taking a close interest in the new arrival. Obviously, Rumpel now just has the tricky job of sort of looking after herself and the youngster, as well as sort of um, keeping an eye on the rest of the group and making sure no one's getting too close, keeping on a guard, and uh, yeah, just sort of making sure the baby's nice and safe. But little Ray is not going to have it easy. Ray's quite unfortunate. She's the only youngster in the group at the moment. In a normal situation, you probably have more babies, so the attention gets shared out between the group, but the fact that she's the only one at the moment means she's the focus of the attention for a lot of animals, so she probably gets a bit more of a hard time than perhaps normal. She's also the daughter of one of the lower-ranking animals, so she's already quite low-ranking, so she has to learn her position within the group. There's a risk that the attention could get out of hand. They can be quite rough with the babies. They do sort of pull their legs and arms quite a bit. It sort of gives the baby, I think, a bit of a workout, <laughs> whether it likes it or not. Sometimes they can get a little bit too aggressive. So it looks brutal, but actually this is perfectly natural behaviour with macaques. It's just their strategy. In a wild situation, if it's weak, um, if it's not able to get around, then that's using up valuable resources for the rest of the group. It's all about making sure that animal's healthy. It's very much um, survival of fittest, being dropped in at the deep end, if you like. Keepers will need to make sure little Ray comes to no harm. Hopefully they'll, they'll be good, but yeah, it's always in the back of your mind that maybe they might be a little bit too rough. We'll wait and see, see how they behave. <laughs> 